And we are here with the lovely Miss Nicole Almodovar. How are you tonight, ma'am? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing very well, very well. Now, for those of you that cannot read the sash, you are Miss Maryland, is that correct? Yes, Miss Maryland Galaxy. There are quite a few Miss Marylands, but I'm Miss Maryland Galaxy, yes. Wonderful. And what brings you to the event here tonight? Um, well, I try to support anything that uh, Miss April Watts does, but the whole lung cancer awareness thing is personal. I have an uncle that is a lung cancer survivor, so it kind of touches home and just again, supporting anything that DMV does that can get the whole awareness thing out. So. so this is a personal thing for you as well as you get to come out here and see some great music as well. That too, it's a plus. So, What is on the horizon for you? Uh, right now I'm just preparing for nationals. I have the national competition in July. Uh, I'm representing Maryland. And right now I'm just basically just doing my platform, which is Glam, Girls, Leaders and Movers. And basically what the, basically what the art theater does is uh, incorporate dance, um, sports, hands-on community service and getting the girls out there mentoring. So. Wow, wow. Well, we thank you very much for having you here. And we won't hold you on the red carpet here, though I might like to. We'll let you, uh, we'll let you go enjoy the show, Nicole. Thank you. Taylor live from the red carpet of the WHW Rock season finale. Shout out to the Lung Cancer Alliance Foundation for helping us with this. To my right is a man who knows the DMV like the back of his hand. And he's letting me feel the small of his back. That's why he's smiling. Lionel Davis, Richcraft Records. Okay, tell us more. Richcraft Records, Lionel Davis. Um, we got two artists, Atlantic Records and Jive Records. I'm coming out soon. Do we get to know those artists or is it a secret? Rich Girl is our girl group. It's four members. They signed the job and we have a um, young staff who signed to Atlantic Records. It's coming out soon, hopefully this year. When you were asked to be a judge, yes, he's a judge, for the finale, what made you say yes? I support my hometown. From here, born and raised, so I said I want to come out and you know, give support, give love. Before I let you go, how important for those watching if you're from here, to support those who are also from here. I think it's very um, important because um, every city that I go to, they always support their um, local artists. But sometimes here we don't seem to do that. So I'm sorry, could you repeat that? <laughs> we need to support our local artists, everyone. I thank you for coming out. No I'm not going to sway your decision. Can't take No, don't tell anybody I said that. I've got one of the stars of the night, one of the finalists. This is the lovely Miss Flo Anito. How are you tonight? I'm doing really well, thank you. All right, all right. Now, you're coming out here. You're going to have uh, 10 minutes to convince the world that you are the hottest artist in the D.C. DMV area. What are you going to do for us? Well, I'm going to play some of my original songs, one on keyboard and one on guitar, and got some strong competition, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> No, you know, I've actually uh, been to some of your shows, Flo. As we know, I'm one of your biggest fans. Where do you get your musical background from? I listen to a lot of jazz growing up and a lot of singer-songwriters, so I'm a big Ella Fitzgerald fan, Jewel, Ani DeFranco, Fiona Apple. Well, listen, we wish you the absolute best of luck, and thank you for all that you've done here tonight and success in the future. And standing next to me, finalist. Omega Band, congratulations Yay. for making it this far. Yay. Thank you. 52 artists, and then there were four. How does that feel in itself? It makes us really proud that, you know, our fans have voted us up to this level, and, you know, people that we didn't even know that were rooting for us. We really want to thank them, and we're just proud and appreciative. You're welcome for my vote. Pay me my $5 later. Okay, I'll hit you up later. <laughs> As an act, it's so many people. Do you guys ever get that? Hey, she's getting too much mic time. He's in the front more. Any of that? Oh, no. I don't think we ever get that way. If anything, it's like, can somebody else sing? You know? <laughs> I am here tonight with a very, very special guest. This is the lovely Miss Lori Fenton. How are you tonight, ma'am? I am fine. I couldn't be better. All right. Now, this is a very wonderful event tonight, and you are the CEO of the Lung Cancer Alliance. Is that correct? That's correct. It's the only national organization that provides patient support and advocacy for the entire lung cancer community. Wonderful. And how did you get involved with this here tonight? 
I had the great pleasure of working with April and Maximum Watts Production to bring about an awareness event for this disease. So through April and her amazing story about how she was touched by lung cancer is how we came to be here together tonight. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you very much for joining us here tonight, and I hope that you enjoy the show, ma'am. Poet Taylor standing next to a man we certainly could not have done this without, Carl Mann Johnson, one of our sponsors for the evening. Thank you. First and foremost, thank you. What made you want to sponsor our event? Just for those who may not know where you fit into the mix. Right. Absolutely. Well, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to sponsor this event is because it gives back to the indie artists as well as the people. And I actually have a foundation called ANC Umbrella Foundation. There's a couple kids from it. And uh, we just really wanted to uh, make sure, man, that we support everything in the community and be where we need to be. Before we get into tonight, tell me a little bit more about your foundation and the beautiful ladies that you brought out with you this evening. Absolutely. Well, my foundation, well, first of all, this is my daughter, Najee. Hi. This is my stepdaughter, Juanita. And as you see to the left of me is uh, Chris Cole from BT College Hill. He's a big supporter. Um, basically what we do is, man, we do like a lot of events and stuff in the community where we just give back to kids, give them an opportunity to, to learn, network, and meet some of the celebrities that they didn't have a chance to meet. We actually have a laser tag coming up May 6th. That's for the kids. And we're going to be out there kicking some butt a little later. <laughs> I plan to attend laser tag. I want to thank you again for supporting our event. It means a lot to us that people within the DMV want to help us give back to those who are bringing real music back. If we want to get in touch with you for your foundation, where should we go? I actually know where you can go. Uh, you can actually go to my email address, which is Carl, M-A-N-N, Johnson, at gmail.com. And soon, um, the website, carlmanjohnson.com, will be up. So get out about a week. But right now, you can go to that and contact me. There. I am here with one of our wonderful, wonderful celebrity guests. How are you today, sir? I'm fabulous. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to give back. Uh, D.C. is my home. I love D.C. And I'm so happy to be here to support the talent here. All right. Now, I see you got a little artillery in your hands here and everything else. Nice outfit. For those of you out there that don't know who you are, tell everybody who you are. I'm Ski Johnson. I'm a jazz artist. That's just a little jazz. You know what I mean? That's what I do. No, but I, I do a little different kind of jazz. I do that like alternative thing, that thing that makes your head move. You know what I mean? That's the kind of thing I do. And I'm I'm just happy to be here, happy to give back and support. You know, I'm, I'm just ecstatic about being here. Man. To my left, I have Ronnie Tyler, who just released a wonderful movie I've been hearing about. Yes, You Saved Me. It's a documentary about marriage. Just real couples come together to tell us about their hardships and trials and what it takes to sustain a happy marriage. If we want to check out the movie, where should we go? It's YouSavedMeMovie.com. Enjoy that. This is 2009 MTV Breakout Artist of the Year, my main man, Mr. Frank Sirius. How you doing tonight? I feel pretty good, man. Excited, man. Support good cause. And I want to support anything that uh, supports lung cancer research, man. All right. Now, we, we got a lot of big dogs here in the area, but carrying the title of 2009 MTV Breakout Artist of the Year, what does that mean to you? I mean, it's a wonderful honor, man. We got a lot of great artists around, you know. It was a um, contest similar to this one. Um, where it was over a thousand artists and um, you know I emerged the winner so right. I want to carry the torch and uh, represent the DMV well. 